the start of the trolley bus abandonment and a rather dark dismal day on the Crystal Palace route to Sutton route 654 which operated short vehicles with run back brakes for Annerley Hill see the although it is a dull day the buses are really in grubby condition and the weather closed in and the shop lights were on but you had to film it because it wouldn't be there tomorrow now we're down to a, a tour in May 62 a couple of weeks before the trolley bus system closed and they'd borrowed this bus from Clapham Museum in the process of overhauling it for the final run at this stage it was fitted with its original indicator blinds but later on they were covered with a paper sticker which read London's last trolley bus May the 8th or something like that of course this vehicle had been redrawn since 1948 I decided to put our tour trolley bus alongside for comparison. Obviously his batteries aren't working because it's being pushed. Or are they? This is a four wheel depot. nice pose shot for the photographers of which there were many the Diddler trolley bus was built in 1931 and the Shasha vehicle dates from the late 30s 707 coming into Heathrow Airport some pre-war RT buses plus a luxury coach stored out of service or for learner drivers one of the last routes was from Wimbledon to Hampton Court now the Diddler trolley buses worked this route and they were replaced in 1948 by 8 foot wide vehicles but by 1962 the 8 foot wide vehicles had gone they'd all been sold to Spain so older vehicles from the north and east London routes came to this area to finish up the system. Again, they're reasonably presentable, but obviously not as smart as 260 was in the films at Bournemouth or Reading. Actually, 260 was preserved by London Transport some years before this. And then just before the trolley bus system finished, they changed their mind and decided they'd have number 1274 instead, which meant that 260 became available for private preservation. 1274 is now preserved in Covent Garden London Transport Museum. I took a sickie from work to do this because the trolley bus is finished up on a Tuesday which is rather unsporting with one exception the trams used to finish up on a Saturday night so I took a chance and went, went sick and filmed them the railway is a southern electric suburban route 700 volts DC third rail There's a southern electric set. Of about nineteen fifty vintage. There's a trolley bus driver taking a photograph of his own vehicle. The reds don't quite reproduce on video the reds have an orange tint but on the film they are the correct colors quite a deep bright red
on the trolleybus standard there the pole is a conversion notice uh, this is the last day so those schoolboys will be going home for the last time on a trolley bus Kingston is quite a, a busy market town, very much part of London nowadays of course, but in the early days it was served by company tramways and it was the company tramways, not London Transport, that first introduced trolleybuses. The original plan by London Transport was to have um, modern trams, the Felton types on the main roads, probably on reserve track and have trolley buses for the less loaded routes and buses everywhere else but they soon changed their mind. The original idea in the mid 30s was to convert to diesel buses but I believe they realised there was so much money had been invested in electrical supply equipment they went in for trolley buses on a grand scale. But of course 20 years later, another change of mind and the trolley buses were replaced with diesel vehicles. That is the diddler on display. And it made a run early on the Tuesday. They didn't want to leave it till the last thing at night to run this vehicle because obviously it would have been vandalised. There's brand new route masters coming in to replace the trolley buses. But the last trolley bus would actually run around about midnight they decided to have a ceremonial last run with the diddler. That's a tower wagon which was fairly new. I think they later sold those to Manchester. Official film crew plus several hundred fans. The diddler's up on the wire followed by trolley bus number 1521 which became the last official bus in the evening and 1521 is still with us, that's preserved at Lowestoft. Yes, they made a ceremonial run from Four World Depot into Kingston and after a celebration came back into brand new Routemasters. The Diddler trolley bus as I said, they wouldn't risk that being out too long. In fact, it never came back to Fallwell. When it got to Kingston, it was um, unhitched from the wires and towed back to Clapham Museum. The Diddler, of course, is now preserved in London Transports Museum at Covent Garden. This is where having a car came in handy. You could rush ahead and take shots and then catch it up again. Again, both vehicles followed by a stream of cars. There's the two brand new buses waiting to take the party back to Full World Depot. Comes the diddler with a police escort. Much to clear the traffic rather than to d deter vandals. An RT in the country green livery. Traffic lights change and away we go to terminate in the centre of Kingston. This bus has now been completely restored for a display, but unfortunately not in the company livery, still in the London Transport post-war livery. Putting the poles off the wire for the very last time. Now no longer a trolley bus.
It's reasonable to say that by the late 30s, London had the largest trolleybus system in the world. Untake or disconnecting the front of the dummy bonnet. So a lot of early trolley buses were built for motor bus design. Removing the trolley bus numbers from the bus stop flags. If they didn't, they'd be pinched. And preparing the diddler for tying back to Clapham Museum. That's a dated feature, the semivore arm on that towing lorry. Lady on the bike wondering what all the fuss is about. But of course the normal trolley bus services carried on for another several hours. There is 1521 going back to Fallwell to be decorated to become the last vehicle later on this evening, followed by the two route masters with a special party on board, although an RT got in the way there. It's another feature of London that's disappeared, suburban cinemas. This is Hampton Court Terminus. And still quite a presentable trolley bus. Pulls up at the terminal stop. The other way back into town was via the route via with Depot. Now we're well into the evening on the last night. And in those days it was impossible to obtain colour film fast enough to film at night. So we changed to black and white film for the final couple of minutes of this farewell to London trolley buses. Tomorrow he'll be doing that on a bus. Heading up towards Hampton Court Terminus for our farewell to the London trolleys.